this video I'm going to install Deepin 15.1 on an external drive using a USB flash drive as the installation medium. See my general video on this subject for more information. Since there's no live system here I'm going to click on Install Deepin. The language is English. I'm going to enter a name. In this case, it's the username directly. Even if I capitalize something, Deepin makes it in lowercase letters. You can change it, of course, but it must be lowercase. There's also a computer name, which you can also change. I'm going to enter a password and then confirm it. Now I'm going to click on the clock on the upper right corner. Since I'm not connected to the internet, this opened without any selection. So I had to select Chicago. To get out of the screen, click on the clock again. And then click on Next. This brings you to the external drive. I found that clicking on free space accomplished nothing, so I clicked on Expert Mode. Now I'm going to enter a new partition. It defaults to a regular EXT4 partition, but I want to swap partition, and I want it to have 6,000 megabytes. Now I'm going to point to the remaining free space and click on New Partition. I'm going to give it the rest of the space on the drive and I'm going to leave it EXT4. However, I'm going to mount it at forward slash, which is the root directory, the entry point of the system. OK. Now I'm going to go to the upper left and go to the internal drive and point to my internal Linux swap partition. There's a drop down menu and I'm going to click on unused because I don't want the external system using this partition. It will continue to be available for the internal system. Now I'm going to go down to the bootloader menu and select device SDC, my external drive, as the location of the bootloader. Now I'm going to click on install. It warns me that everything on that drive will be erased, but that's okay. The installation is beginning. I'm going to interrupt it at this point and go to the end. Installation succeed, it says. Tips. Please remove the installation media before reboot so as to avoid re-entering into the installation environment when you start the computer next time. That sounds like a good idea. Since there's no live system here, I'm going to click on Reboot Now. I'm going to remove the USB flash drive that I used for installation, but leave my external drive attached so it will reboot there. This is the Grub2 menu. It shows Deepin 15 as the first choice, and it will boot to that system unless I choose one of the others. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.